There's an expression in the craft of writing that goes something like this. It's all about the rewrite. You start writing and you go and work your way down the page and you don't really worry too much about what it is that you're writing. You just try to get the ideas out. And then you go back, make edits, and really turn it into the piece of writing that you wanted it to be from the beginning. And this is a beautiful practice and applies to so many things. Yet unfortunately, we tend to treat our lives and our spaces much like this piece of paper. When I say spaces, I mean physical spaces, our mental spaces, and time spaces. Not in the scientific sense, but simply in the calendar sense. Let's pretend that this piece of paper represents the entirety of your life. It's starting to get pretty full, right? It's human nature to want to efficiently use the spaces we have. If you fill every square inch of the paper from corner to corner with your life, with your work, you have absolutely no space to make any marks for edits. You don't have any room to rearrange words. It's one of the main reasons that in school, teachers have you turn in your work double-spaced with margins so that there's room to make corrections, to rewrite different aspects of what you've written, try different things, and rearrange it in the space provided. And that is what the 70-30 principle is all about. Default to action and make that 70% of your time but leave 30% of your time as space in the margins to rearrange things as you see fit. This is actually something that hit me really, really hard back in November and December when we were stepping back and taking a break from all of the work that we had completely overwhelmed ourselves with. We made so many realizations about what Break the Twitch actually is. What's the work we are passionate about and the stuff that we wanted to do? The 70-30 rule is what minimalism and decluttering your life in a multitude of ways allows you to get to. It helps you find that space in your day-to-day -day life. It's really helped me a lot just be able to focus better, to truly own my attention and find the awareness in the way that I'm spending my time and look at the things I'm doing to see how I can consistently do them better. If this idea resonates with you and you see a need in your life to implement it, I'm guessing that you're probably a lot like me. And over the last year, I've been working hard to build a community of people that are a lot like us. People that understand that the biggest changes come with the smallest actions repeated daily over time. People that are willing to do the work to get the changes they actually want in life. That community is here now. It is available at breakthetwitch.com slash community. So I would invite you to join us and be a part of that as well. As you're looking for ways to implement this principle into your life, start with the things that are going to be meaningful to you and happen quite regularly. Those are the areas where you're going to see the highest return on your efforts. And of course, starting out, don't try to do everything at once. Just pick one area and keep it really simple. This idea applies to just about everything. Take the 70-30 principle and look in different areas of your life where you can apply it. For the most part, we simply do not need to use every space, mental, time, and physical to its full capacity anymore. In fact, it's detrimental, I would say. So perhaps, much like the practice of writing, living our best lives also comes down to defaulting to action, doing the best we can in the moment with what we have, and then leaving room for the rewrite. Trying again, modifying things, making changes that will affect the outcome as we move forward, as we do better and better a little bit each time. Thank you so much for your time and attention. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.